Hello everyone. How is everybody doing today? Brothers and sisters, I will not be before you long. I just wanted to come and give you all a scripture verse that has a lot to do with the end times and what we are currently witnessing now that's going on in this earth. Brothers and sisters, we are close to the rapture of the church and we have to be aware of everything that's going on, that we are living in the last days, that our precious Holy Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, will return for his beautiful bride. And that if we want to be raptured, as the Bible calls it, caught up, that we must be ready if we want to be caught up to meet the Lord in the air. And he will come for his bride at the perfect appointed time, which we do not know the day nor the hour, but we can clearly see with everything that is going on in the world that it will be soon. We know it will be soon because the Bible tells us it will be soon. The Bible tells us what to look for, brothers and sisters. And I want to give you scriptures to tell us what is happening and what we can look for to know that we are in the correct season of the rapture, that it will happen and we must be ready. We have to be ready if we want to go back with the Lord. Otherwise, we will be here for the great tribulation which is to come and it will be pure, it will be awful. If you think it's bad now, it will be a hundred times worse. And I'm going to tell you right now, brothers and sisters, that time is short. Time is short. It is very short. If you are not yet saved, if you have not yet accepted Jesus Christ as your personal Lord and Savior and given your life to him and invited the Lord into your heart, repented of your sins, repent, turn around. Go the other way. Change your mind. Change your thoughts about living in sin and do not do it anymore. And commit your life to Jesus. Give your life to the Lord. Believe in his death, burial, and resurrection. That he was born of a virgin. He was alive. He was brutally crucified for your sins and for mine. And on the third day he rose again. And that he took your sin debt a debt that you could never repay on your own, that he took your sins, he took your place, what me and you deserved, he took it, he took it all, and he never said a mumbling word, he never complained, he just took it. He was brutally crucified and he passed away, and on the third day, glory to God, he rose with all power in his hand, and he is alive forevermore. If you believe in that, that he paid the price for you, that you are a child of God, that you love the Lord, that you want to live for the Lord, that you have repented of your sins, been baptized in the name of Jesus for the remission of your sins, according to Acts chapter 2 and verse 38, then you shall be saved and you will be ready. But brothers and sisters, make no mistake about it. Tomorrow's not promised. Tomorrow's not promised, so you need to be saved now. Do it now. Do not wait, because there is no time. You don't have time to play around and play games and say, I'll do it next week. I'll do it tomorrow. I'll do it when I feel like it. No. You have to do it now. We don't know what tomorrow will bring. There's so much going on in the world, brothers and sisters, right now, all at the same time. All these things that are happening, brothers and sisters, brothers and sisters, excuse me. We have Hurricane Helene that just happened that pretty much wiped out North Carolina, Asheville, North Carolina. Those people are in pure devastation. We must keep them in our prayers. The people all over have passed away through this hurricane. The tragedies, the, 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 the loss of life, it is horrible. 
all the wars. There's a war with Israel and Iran. Lebanon was getting involved. What about Russia and Ukraine and all these things, all these wars and rumors of wars? Talk of war, World War III. And all this lets us know, brothers and sisters, what time it is. The making of people unalive all over the world, innocent children, the school massacres and all these things that are happening. Don't you see what's happening? All these things lets us know what time it is, the diseases, the illnesses, the pestilence, the pure wickedness running rampant. The porch strike where they were striking. And now it's 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 delayed now. Thank God for that. But still, it doesn't mean it's over. All these things, it's like the world is literally coming to an end right before our very eyes. The earthquakes, the hurricanes, and there will be a new hurricane I found out today. Tropical storm Milton to strengthen into a hurricane and make landfall in Florida this week, Monday through Wednesday, they're saying, I believe. And that's going to strengthen into a hurricane, they're saying. All these things that are happening, brothers and sisters, it lets us know that we are in the last days. Look at what's happening in the Middle East. Look at it. Look at all this, all at once. All the things that are happening all over, everything, politically, all this, everything that is happening all over the world lets us know that we are in the last days. And we must be ready for the Lord Jesus Christ because he is coming back, as he said, and he promised he was coming back, that where he is, there we shall be also. And his word is the truth, and he means it. Brothers and sisters, I want to give you verses of scripture today that can be found in Matthew chapter 24, verses 6 and 7, brothers and sisters. What Jesus spoke, and these are words in red, what Jesus actually spoke of that would happen in the latter days, in the last days. And it is happening right now. Jesus told us, and thank God that he told us, he warned us of these things that would happen, and they're happening now. So that lets us know what time it is, and it will happen. It will happen. The rapture will happen. The Bible clearly tells us in 1 Thessalonians, excuse me, 1 Thessalonians, can't talk tonight, brothers and sisters, 1 Thessalonians chapter 4, verses 13 to 18. That we shall be caught up. The Bible calls it caught up, a catching away, which means rapture. Okay? And it will happen. Why? Because the word of God said it would happen. And we have to believe what the word of God says. We cannot pick and choose what we want to believe. But we have to believe all of it. Okay? And the verse of scripture I would like to give you tonight, brothers and sisters, is Matthew chapter 24. Verses six and seven. And I would read this to you now. And the word of God states, And ye shall hear of wars and rumors of wars. See that ye be not troubled, for all these things must come to pass, but the end is not yet. For nation shall rise against nation, and kingdom against kingdom, and there shall be famines and pestilences and earthquakes in diverse places. And verse 8 reads, all these are the beginning of sorrows. Brothers and sisters, the birth pangs are increasing. The birth pangs are increasing. And that lets us know that we are close. These are birth pangs and they are increasing. As a woman will be getting ready to give birth to a child, We know that the birth pangs and the labor contractions will increase. That is what is happening now. And we must be ready because it's going to get worse. It's not going to get better. 
It's going to get worse. And I'm not talking about doom and gloom, but I'm speaking the truth. We have to know the truth, and the truth shall make us free. That this world is not getting any better. It's not going to go back to normal. Normal is not coming back. Jesus is coming back, and he will take us away. He will catch us away, rapture us away, as he said in his word that he goes away to prepare a place for us, that where he is, there we shall be also. And his word is true. So if I were you, if you are not yet saved, I would get saved now, right now, because the rapture can happen at any time now, any time it can happen. And I hope and pray that you are one in the number to be caught up. You must pray to find, to be found worthy to escape all these things that will happen. The great tribulation will happen and you don't want to be here for that. Okay, brothers and sisters. So I just wanted to come on and give you this word and to stay, to tell you to stay focused, to stay focused on the Lord Jesus Christ and do not give up because Jesus loves you and we're close. You've come too far to turn back now. You cannot turn back now. You've come too far. Hold on to the Lord Jesus Christ. Hold on to his unchanging hand. You can make it. You can make it with Jesus. And don't look back. Okay? So until we talk again, if it is the Lord's will, if it's the Lord's will, we must always keep that in our mind. If it's the Lord's will, if it's God's will, don't just assume we're going to be here tomorrow because we do not know. So much is changing. So much is happening every day. It's something different. So if it's the Lord's will, I will be back on at the leading of the Lord. Okay, brothers and sisters. So you all be blessed. Have a blessed day, night, or evening. And until we talk again, if it's the Lord's will, You have a blessed day or night or evening. Okay, never forget Jesus loves you and so do I. God bless.